Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen how to write the test case using Serenity. We used at the rate manage to do that. Now in this video, we'll see the actual power of Serenity BDD that is using BDD style automation. For this example, we use Cucumber integration. Okay. So what we are going to do in this program is we'll add the dependencies related to Cucumber and few plugins. These are mainly for triggering the test cases and then for the reports. And uh, then when I say BDD, there will be three things. One is a feature file and a runner file and then step definition. So we have to write three different kinds of code. And uh, we execute the program, we'll see that. Following that, we'll implement page object model, which is uh, for Selenium, and see how it can be achieved in Cucumber 2. Okay, to start with, the extra dependency that we needed was Serenity Cucumber. Okay, so Cucumber has multiple versions, two, four, five, Okay, the current latest version is Cucumber 5. So we have to add a dependency with Serenity Cucumber 5. So in order to add that, you need to go to MVN repository, Serenity Cucumber. So generally you have, it's very uh, less uh, visibility so that's why you got uh, somewhere else in the back end so you have uh, serenity cucumber right so you just add serenity cucumber right so or else you have to search somewhere uh, in the uh, any page of such results okay this is our latest version so i'm just copying that and i have to put it in my form.xml in my project okay so we already added previous ones now oh, I'm going to add this one here. Okay, so that is the first one. And uh, other things we have to add is like plugins, Maven plugins. So Maven plugins are used for, to provide extra features, okay. Maven Surefire plugin is uh, a plugin which works in to trigger test cases, okay. This plugin triggers test cases at test phase or, or like Maven has three life cycles, default, clean, side. The default, you'll have multiple stages like compile, test, compile, test, package, integration test, verify, install, deploy, okay. These are the high level uh, stages that it is having. So Maven Surefire plugin will run the test cases at the test level. And uh, Maven failsafe plugin can run test cases and integration test phase or verify phase. So now this is where uh, this comes into picture. And then say Serenity Maven plugin, this is mostly used for uh, gathering the reports, okay? It's for reporting purpose. We need to add these three files, okay? So in your form.xml, you have uh, a section called build, okay? So in this section, you can add the plugins. For that, you have to add one more tag called plugins. Inside these plugins, you can add more number of plugins. Okay, so you, I'll show you one how to add, and then the remaining two I will add. So I'll show you how to, how to add one plugin, and the remaining two I'll copy paste uh, from existing code. Uh, please uh, understand the code. Okay. The first one is Maven Surefire plugin, right? So you can come and search here and you will have this Maven Surefire plugin. 
this plugin is displaying there like a dependency okay so but what you can do is you can add it inside the plugin okay so you need to pass these three uh, you remove this remove the dependency remove the dependency so this is how you can add a plugin okay and whenever you add the plugin you can add the, some configurations too okay that's an extra thing that you can have either this way you can search or the other way is uh, maven surefire plugin so if you search it will go through the plugin sites directly from there you can go to the usage here you can copy this plugin configuration directly so either of that you can do this is the first plugin what is the second plugin that i want to use maven failsafe plugin okay so maven failsafe plugin how do you get the same thing so you have maven failsafe plugin you can use this and usage you can copy yeah, this plugin okay so this plugin contains so few extra things too like integration test and verify that is the second one and the third one is maven uh, serenity maven plugin okay so serenity maven plugin it it will contain some configurations okay so for example we have the usage okay i can copy from here itself how it can be used this is the third plugin you have Okay, now uh, you have this versions or uh, this one. Okay, so I move this version so we can give the version numbers. Okay, instead of variables, the version numbers are two two one. Okay, so two two two. Okay, and here two dot two dot one. Okay, so it's having some error, right? So I copied uh, this Serenity Maven plugin, and with that we will be able to uh, get the uh, all three plugins. But we need to add a few more uh, configurations here. The first one is this version. You will have configuration inside that skip true. So I don't want to run my test cases at uh, test level where i want to execute was i want to execute on the integration test and verify level so that's why this comes into picture you may ask that you can skip this maven surefire plugin but it was needed internal uh, purposes okay so then the first next other one is here also you have to add the configuration in the configuration you can provide what is the test cases that you want to include okay that can be done by using this includes okay so includes inside that include let's say right now i'll do it like this uh, slash star runner dot job okay so i'll explain this uh, section again when we execute the example okay now if you come here 
see what we are doing is we are adding configuration section so you can add some tags and then you can add the dependencies whatever the required dependencies and then execution side serenity serenity reports it will be executing on post integration test so this will prepare the reports for your uh, execution so i told you right serenity uh, maven plugin is used for reporting purpose okay now the first section is completed in this which is adding the plugins and dependencies and then we have to write a feature file okay when i say feature file so what it does it mean uh, feature files are contains the uh, like what you are going to test okay it uses gherkin language and it will be very simple to understand okay now i am going to write it for a e-commerce website so that will be uh, open card right so now what i do is first i create a folder here the folder name will be features okay and inside that maybe i'll create a file itself that file name i'll name it as like a, um, dashboard dot fba feature okay so the name of the file is dashboard and extension is feature so that like uh, feature files extensions are dot feature so it's straightforward now in the feature file we have uh, scenarios we'll have a feature okay and there are a couple of other stuff uh, i'll not cover everything here i'll just have an example feature file here okay so this is a sample feature file the first one is feature uh, the name of the feature is admin login feature okay you can write anything there and then at the rate smoke so generally it prefers a tag okay so you can give the any test case or any scenario a tag and the next one you can see is scenario so scenario is the explanation of scenario admin login with positive credentials and verify message okay so this is my uh, scenario and what are the steps involved the steps in involves return like given when then and okay so these are the uh, predefined keywords that we use okay so this is part of your getkin language so what it does here given launch application when user type username user and password with nami1 when user click on submit button then user should be able to log in and see dashboard message okay so this is my feature file 